The game has changed. You can now generate images right inside of ChatGPT with DALI 3. And after experimenting with this for the last week, I've come up with five reasons why I don't think I'll be going back to Midjourney ever again. So my name is Dara. Let us dive straight in. Now, we all know that Midjourney can make incredible images just like this. But to actually generate those images, you need to log into Discord. And personally, I'm just not a big fan of Discord. There are just so many buttons and icons in here. Personally, it's just a lot to take in. And I don't think that I'm the only one who thinks this way. Here's a post from somebody complaining about the sheer difficulty and all the hoops that you needed to jump through to actually get started with Midjourney and use it on Discord. Now, I understand that Midjourney probably chose Discord because it already has 200 million monthly active users. So it was an easy way to build a community for their tool. And I do particularly like that I can see what images other people are making with Midjourney. But for me, the ChatGPT interface is just so much cleaner and it's so much more obvious what you need to do to generate an image. Overall, it just seems like a much better user experience. So easy interface is the first reason I think ChatGPT wins. The second reason I prefer ChatGPT is the easy prompting. To create an image with Midjourney, you need to make sure that you type forward slash imagine and then type in what you want a photo of. So it feels a little bit like I'm talking to a computer giving it commands, but we must admit the results are pretty good for photorealistic images like this. And you might be thinking, hey, those pictures in Midjourney are better than what DALI 3 created. What are you talking about? The problem with Midjourney is that it doesn't understand natural language. So if I ask Midjourney for a book cover for Dracula, it just gives me a generic photo of a vampire. It doesn't give me a book cover like I was looking for. And this is the big problem with text to image systems that OpenAI pointed out when it released DALI 3. It said that these systems have a tendency to ignore words or descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. And DALI 3 really represents a leap forward because it can actually generate images based on what text you type in because it understands what you're saying and Midjourney just can't do that. So if I give the same prompt to ChatGPT, you can see that I get two amazing book covers here and the text is even perfect on it, which is incredible and something that Midjourney has really struggled to do is to get text correct. Now here are the two different book covers and I think that they look amazing. And the really cool thing about ChatGPT and DALI 3 is that it took my very simple prompt, create a book cover, and it turned it into this massive detailed prompt here. So it says a book cover for the novel. The cover features a dark gothic castle perched on a craggy cliff under a stormy night sky. Bats are seen flying around. So it took my very simple prompt and using ChatGPT created this much more detailed prompt. And that's why we're getting such good results here in ChatGPT. And uh, that's why it's not as good on Midjourney. So this ability to use very simple prompts to get incredible results is the second reason I think ChatGPT is better than Midjourney. The third reason I prefer ChatGPT to Midjourney is because it's much easier to create consistent characters. Creating consistent characters in Midjourney seems to be a bit of a problem. In fact, there are whole tutorials on YouTube about how to create consistent characters in Midjourney. So if you need a tutorial, it's definitely not going to be that easy. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to upload an image to Midjourney. And then we can copy the link of the image. We'll ask for a new image. We'll paste in this image and ask to make this character sad. And here we have a picture of a girl around the same age, but it's definitely not the character 
that I uploaded with the same clothes and everything like that. So I'm not a mid-journey expert, I'll admit, but it's definitely not that easy, it seems, to create a consistent character. Now over here on ChatGPT, I was able to drop in my image, use the same prompt, make her sad, and we have this incredible result here, which is definitely uh, the same type character as the original one here. She's got the ducks on her dress, and the little frog and the, and the big green eyes which is like the happy version of it. Now, the reason that this is uh, so good is because back up here, I've kind of been developing this character and there's a lot of descriptions of the character here. And I think all of that conversation feeds in and uh, helps you make this consistent type character on ChatGPT. Whereas when I just dropped in the image, and asked it to make the same character sad, it didn't keep that character consistency. So if you want to get that really good character consistency, it's probably good to go and use ChatGPT to build up detailed descriptions of the character first. And once it understands that, then it can then recreate uh, these consistent characters. So easy, consistent characters are the third reason I think ChatGPT is better than Midjourney. Now let us look at the fourth reason why I think DALI 3 is better than Midjourney, and that's because it can integrate with all of the other tools that ChatGPT has. So for example, this character that I just developed for fun, I didn't really know what character to make as an example. So I asked firstly ChatGPT to create some fun characters for a five-year-old girl's book. I have a daughter, so I thought, why not try and create a character for her? And it gave me a list of five amazing examples here. And the princess puddle was the one that I thought she might like. So on Midjourney, there just isn't that kind of other tools there to help you actually develop the characters or develop the stories to go with the characters. And that's why I think it's just amazing that it's built into ChatGPT. One more example of how to use DALI 3 with the other tools in ChatGPT is I asked ChatGPT to find the top global news stories for today. And then I asked it to actually generate then an image based on the top headline. And you can see that the image here that it generated was based on the headline US launches diplomatic station in Arctic Norway. So DALI 3 is pretty cool, but it's the combination with all of the other tools that I really think makes it groundbreaking and much better than Midjourney. Now, the fifth and final reason I think DALI 3 is better than Midjourney is I just think it's better value for money. To use DALI 3, you need to have a ChatGPT Plus account, which is $20 a month. On Midjourney, the basic subscription is $10 a month. So for just $10 more, you get the ability to create images with much simpler prompts, create consistent characters, and use them with all of the other ChatGPT tools. Now, of course, there are some limits to generating images with DALI 3, but it seems to be the same as the limits that you have with GPT-4, which currently has a cap of 50 messages every three hours. So let's just say creating 50 images every three hours. But I think for a casual image generator like me, this is probably the much better deal. And I don't think I'll be using Midjourney again. But this is a quickly changing space. So subscribe to stay updated and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.